Calculation Wizard in Minikill Plus version 5 provides a great deal of flexibility in defining your chemical system. However, with that flexibility, there also is the possibility of creating systems that are overconstrained and unrealistic. Systems that are overconstrained are incapable of producing a solution to your calculations. To avoid this, the Gibbs phase matrix provides a guide to help you know when your system is in trouble. Here is how it works. Let's assume a simple system with calcium, carbonate, and proton. For our example, these components will combine to form the following chemical species. The mass balance equations for this system are listed here in long format. Water is also a component in this system, but we're not going to focus on it. The activity of water is always equal to 1 and is treated like a fixed species. This is identical to what we are showing in the tableau, where each column corresponds to a mass balance equation. Each of the chemical species can be written in terms of their components. For example, calcium plus proton plus carbonate yields calcium bicarbonate. In the tableau, each row corresponds to the reaction equation for a given species. Since each species can be written in terms of its components, this means that each mass balance equation can also be written in terms of its components. This can be understood in a more simplified form by stating that each of the mass balance equations are now a function of proton, calcium, and carbonate. So this is a system that reduces to three equations and three unknowns. We can reduce the tableau to view just the mass balance aspects. As we said earlier, water has a fixed activity of 1. If we add water as a fixed species, the problem gets smaller, and the tableau shows our three equations, shown here as the white columns. The yellow area shows fixed species and components that are removed from the problem. Now, what will happen if we want to fix the pH to a known value? Since the pH is a set value, the free proton concentration is no longer an unknown. The tableau reduces in scope, and our problem reduces down to two equations and two unknowns. Now, we would like to have the system in equilibrium with atmospheric CO2. Alone, CO2 gas has the stoichiometry to control either proton, water, or carbonate, but since the proton and water are already removed from the problem, the CO2 will control the carbonate. Again, the tableau reduces in scope, and our problem reduces down to one equation and one unknown. Adding more requirements to our system, we would like to have the system in equilibrium with an infinite source of calcite. This means that the calcite could, left to its own, control either calcium or carbonate. Since the carbonate is already controlled by CO2 gas, the calcium will be controlled. The tableau reduces in scope once again and our problem has zero equations and zero unknowns, but it is not overconstrained. Any of these previous scenarios for fixed species represent valid systems for solving a problem. As long as the system is not overconstrained, Minikill Plus will be able to arrive at a solution. Now, what happens if we try to also have the system in equilibrium with an infinite source of lime? The lime on its own can control either the calcium, water, or the proton, but in our system these components are already controlled by other species. At this point the system is overconstrained and the tableau has no way to accommodate the additional requirement. Fortunately you don't need to keep ongoing tabs on what phases are controlling what components. Using the Gibbs phase matrix 
you can see how your system is being controlled and it will give you a warning when the system gets over constrained. The light blue area indicates species that are defining the system. A red line indicates a species that has exceeded the phase rule. And the white area, not present here, indicates species that were not addressed when the phase rule violation occurred. While this information can be helpful in understanding what species are causing problems, the Gibbs phase matrix can be used in a more trial and error way to see what system scenarios are problematic. When controlling redox, solids, fixed ions, gases, CO2, or pH, the phase matrix provides a roadmap for creating systems that will complete their calculations and produce realistic results. Minikill Plus has a lot of features that will allow you to have greater insight and control in simulating chemical equilibrium. And if you need more information or tutorials on Minikill Plus, visit minikill.com.